As we gather this Lord's Day, let us prepare our hearts and minds to worship Him in spirit and in truth. A reading from Psalm 47. Clap your hands, O peoples. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. For the Lord the Most High is to be feared, a great King over all the earth. He subdued peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chose our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob whom he loves. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with a sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with a psalm. God reigns over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. The princes of the peoples gather as the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is highly exalted. Oh. 
倾诉，又听到融融泪声，你的大梦填满了宇宙中，我领歌唱。
知安，而学交流。竹外可称无知相连，今之可证我卓。千足千不足报恩，如此奇妙神能破爱，悬上身心方可。阮的天父，阮的主，你世世代代做阮的救赎，自山未捌生出，拄会甲世界你未捌造成，对坚固到永远，你是上帝，你是创造了宇宙万民，是掌管一切，伟大的主宰，是拯救阮的上帝，阮阿罗尼敬拜你。这两年的疫情，让阮看到人的生命是短暂的。求你指教阮怎样所算家己的日子，好叫阮得到智慧的心，帮助阮为主你来活。若有人心灵淡，求主怜悯，帮助因回转。求主也怜悯，也阁袂怜悯你的亲人朋友，为因的目睭。感动因的心，好因离开罪恶归恩你。主啊，阮今仔日来到你的面前，求你安静阮的心，听主你的道，帮助阮立志行主的道。愿主你的恩庇归伫阮的身上，愿你建立阮手所做的工，让阮有法通荣耀你，奉主耶稣的名祈祷。阿门。新约四道行传三章一到十节。新初就是大概下晡啊四点左右，祷告的时节，彼得、约翰上圣殿去。有一个人生来是乞丐，天天和人往来。放伫店的一个门口，迄、那个门的名叫做迷门，要求进店的人就坐。伊看见彼得、约翰将要进店，就求因就坐。彼得、约翰定定目睭看伊，彼得说：“你看我。”迄个人就留意看因，指望通得到什么。彼得说。金银我拢无，只共我所有诶，互你。我奉拿撒勒人耶稣基督诶名，叫你起来行走。于是背着伊诶右手，扶伊起来，伊诶脚甲脚目骨立刻就健康强壮起来，就跳起来，底脚咧，搁行走。甲因做一下进了殿，哪行哪跳，阿罗上帝，百姓拢看见伊咧行走，阿罗上帝，今日伊是迄个所想做在伫殿的美门口咧求救者，就因为伊所悟着的代志，满心的希奇惊讶。Good morning, U E C G. 啊！前三中华基督教会兄弟姊妹，好早起。We are continuing with our series on Acts called "The Word Conquers the World." 今仔日咱要继续来讲到这个啊，许多片段，咱这个系列，咱的题目就是叫做“上帝都征服世界”。Now with 
all that is happening in the world, why should you care about the book of Acts? Of course, the answer is because God gave this book to us. But to give more reasons, it is because this is a story that you and I are living in right now. It is not just important because it is a historical account of the church. It is important because what God did with the early disciples is still what He is doing right now. Do you feel that your spiritual life has power? Do you have a strong sense of purpose? Are you filled with excitement and courage to live out the commands of Jesus? If you are not, then this book is for you. This is the story of how God transformed the weak, timid, cowardly disciples into men of power who took the gospel to the ends of the earth. But it is also the story of these same men still struggling with sin and needing grace even as they obey the commands. This is the story not of superhero Christians doing it all, but about the word of God conquering the world. I want to share this short, simple summary of how we divided up the segments of the story so far so that you can visualize it a little better. This is how the word conquers the world. In Acts chapter 1, verse 1 to 26, it was because the disciples waited on God's promises. In Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to 13, it was because the believers were filled with the Spirit and they spoke words of power. In Acts chapter 2, 14 to 41, it says there, because sinners are confronted with the saving gospel of Jesus Christ. And in Acts chapter 2, 42 to 47, it was because it brought believers into a new loving community in Christ. Okay, 
啊，因开始啊来带做一个，然后有正做一个啊，伫基督内面一做有三听的关系，诶诶诶诶组织。And today the focus is on the power of God because the Word conquers the world through God's power and not ours. In our, in our, the focus is on the power of God because the Word conquers the world through God's power and not ours. In our, in our, the focus is on the power of God because the Word conquers the world through God's power and not ours. If you somehow skip the reading of Acts chapter one, a、uh, chapter three, verse one to twenty-six, please go back and listen to it, and maybe read along yourself. Let yourself be engaged in the story. Jesus, you are not paying attention to the second chapter, one to twenty-six. You are not paying attention to the second chapter, one to twenty-six. You are not paying attention to the second chapter, one to twenty-six. You are not paying attention to the second chapter, one to twenty-six. You are not paying attention to the second chapter, one to twenty-six. You are not paying attention to the second chapter, one to twenty-six. You are not paying attention to the second chapter, one to When I started working, I didn't think so. 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 Of course, back then I had no big health concerns, and I felt that I can bounce back from anything. Ah, 当然，当时我也个少年，我无觉得讲说，我啊身躯有啥物无爽的所在啊。然后我认为说，讲就是有。我钱财是拢有我当底啊啊还谈得来。But then, as I engage or I knew more people and my circle, my community grew, I saw the sometimes terrible reality. 啊，但是当我啊开始拄到较侪人，我较侪工作，我啊这个啊所接触的人会宽这个团体愈来愈多的时阵，我就发现公司有一款真正可怕的代志发生。Health is wealth. I saw that sometimes just one medical emergency can wipe out all your money. Ah, 这句话是讲说健康就是顶你财富啊，因为我实在有看到，看啊，一个小看一个啊，一个紧急的诶诶诶，病痛的状况啊，我当将啊所有的财产拢底下来丢掉啊。I saw the the strain that sickness brings to relationships to your life. Ah, I also saw the concept. Ah, this pain, the this family, the relationship between people, so far, it's quite a strain. Just in our church, there are so many stories of suffering, of desperation because of health. Though I think there are more stories of joy to balance it. 啊，就是伫咱家己教会内面啊，有真多啊，你看你故事，关于痛苦，关于绝望啊，为着为着这个健康的问题所带来啊。当然，咱也是有一寡真多啊，带着喜乐的诗的的故事啊。But I'll I'll say more on those stories of joy later. 啊，咱会用公交在啊，较较等下这个公交在故事。I upgraded my health insurance a few years back because of these concerns, but I know that you cannot really plan for it. Ah, 当然，为着安尼，我就啊，将啊，我原来的这个医疗保险，我就该啊啊，几年前我就该为着安尼原因，我就该增加。但是我在前前知影，讲说啊，咱无法当完全诶，为着咱的计划啊来计划较好些。Now I do not mention these things to bring us down. Especially, I know for some of you listening, this may be a current or a fresh painful experience. Ah, 今仔日我讲到提到这样代志，并不是爱好咱遐啊，会感觉灰心。特别我知影讲说，咱中间真侪咧听会听讲啊，可能啊，伊嘅经历是只最近发生嘅一款。But I say this to emphasize that healing is one of the great longings and the great hope of people. As I, 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 So, we can see that in the Bible, God is talking about healing. So, when we read about what Peter and John did, and we see the overflowing joy of the beggar who was healed, 
we can understand why the crowd was amazed and couldn't believe it. So, we can understand why the crowd was amazed and couldn't believe it. So, we can understand why the crowd was amazed and couldn't believe it. So, we can understand why the crowd was amazed and couldn't believe it. Healing is something that we all want. And God precisely arranged this miracle at the right time so that the very religious and stubborn Jews would listen to what Peter had to say. So that the Jews now the night hour during this time was about 3 p.m. and faithful Jews would have been in the temple every single day. They would have seen this beggar every day. In fact, Jesus would probably have walked by him at some point in time because he was there every day. Why was he healed only now? Because the point of this story was not just the physical healing itself, but it was something greater. In a life where we will all, all of us, go through sickness in one way or another, it's very important for us to know what this is. You see, the reality is that no matter how great your faith is, there is no guarantee that you will be healed from your sickness. Christians will still die. How we wish that our faith can heal someone, but it doesn't always happen. No, God does work miracles, and we are right to keep praying and to keep asking for healing, but it is not guaranteed. One of the tragic ways to interpret stories about healing like this is to believe that faith in Jesus gives us this power to overcome all sickness. How many people's faith was shaken because they were they were taught that if they only had enough faith, they would overcome their afflictions. Uh, 
in a sin sim to dia yung tal yung tang. It's a cunning lie from the enemy because it can lead someone to believe that uh, someone who wasn't healed to believe that their faith was not enough. Gesi tui lan e tiak din na chi kwan jin jia gao guai e a gong bei chat wei e hong fa na. Yin wei jie chi kwan e hong fa na e ho jin zui e chi ga e lang na lai din wei se yi e bi mo di de yi di si yin wei e xin xin mo gao yang. It can lead someone to seek after other sources of healing, you know, such as faith healers or shamans, which means that their faith in the power of God has been shaken. But how is this good news if this healing is not something that we can claim? It is because this healing was an announcement of that something greater than it. When we are suffering, we think that our greatest need is to be relieved of it. But God knows that we do need something more. Peter proclaims in his previous message during Pentecost that Joel chapter 2 verse 28 was being fulfilled and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh your sons, your daughters your sh- shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions So there's was a time of signs and wonders because it announced that Jesus has come to fulfill their greatest need. If someone gets healed and in, 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 in is, is in perfect health, do they get there happily ever after? What benefit is it to someone if they are healthy, yet they remain an enemy of God? Now, we may not have COVID at the moment, but we may have anger in our heart. We could be free from any life-threatening disease, yet be suffering from lust and porn. We can be perfectly healthy, yet live a life that dishonors God. We can be perfectly healthy, yet live a life that dishonors God. 
Because sickness is such a terrible and major event in our life. We can sometimes feel that sin is a minor thing compared to it. But I assure you, God does not see it that way. Isn't it that however healthy or sick you are, we will all live, leave this world someday? There are no exceptions. Whatever you are going through will eventually end. But our sinful condition will not end. Then the anger and the judgment of God will come. If you do not feel the fear of the Lord from this, then you are severely underestimating what sin is. In another message, I told you about the concept of shalom or peace. In the Bible, it is not just about the absence of problems, but it's more of being complete. What we need is not just healing from physical uh, afflictions, but also to be complete. We need not just to be freed from uh, sickness, but from sin. And, and this is what Peter tells us. Well, Jesus does indeed heal. But it is greater than what we think we need because He makes us complete. Real healing can only come through faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, Peter is quick to say in, in this chapter, in verse 13 to 18, that the Jews were indeed guilty. Not just of sin in general, but number one, delivering Jesus to Pilate. Number two, denying him and asking for a murderer to be released instead. And number three, they killed Jesus, the author of life. Uh, but here's the good news. Uh, Peter knows that they acted in ignorance and that this was all foretold by the prophets. But 
啊，先低咔嚓一点空料空啊，语言料。But if they repent, which means to turn away from sin and to turn towards Jesus, their sins will be forgiven, and the times of refreshing will come. 所以，伊只个同样讲，当因阿底阿悔改，啊，意思就是讲因离开罪，然后来归恩耶稣，因的罪就要底下得到赦免，同样因的生命就要得到更新。Peter knew his audience. He quoted from scripture and demonstrated that Jesus was the fulfillment of what Moses and all the prophets prophesied. 阿咱看到讲，彼得明白伊个听众，所以伊就引用圣经底下来证明讲说，耶稣基督就是摩西所预言的，也一个诶诶诶诶预言诶诶实现。What he was saying in verse twenty two to twenty six was essentially telling the Jews that what you were all waiting for is now here. 啊，伊第二十二到二十六节第第啊。基本上要跟因跩犹太人讲的是讲，其实恁所咧听好的，恁所咧听好的一位，一定是伫家，现在一定是到了。You see, their original purpose was, as given to Abraham in Genesis, was to be a blessing to all families on earth. And now, here is Jesus. Here is that promised time. 所以啊，原来啊啊，本来的呃，新啊，创世纪所记载。诶，这个原来的目的啊，就是阿伯的阿伯的看，和因在啊犹太人呢，就要成做整个世界的祝福。现在呢，耶稣基督一定是假咯，这个就是一定啊，应允的点睛咯。This is the time of refreshing that God sent His Son Jesus, and those who believe in His name will be forgiven and are saved. 这个就是人要得到更新的时准。因为上帝一定将耶稣基督，也将差派来到这个世界，所有相信你啊，就要得到啊，下面下罪，然后当时要得到拯救。We are still in this time of refreshing because we are still able to preach the story of Jesus, and that people can still come and be healed. 啊，现在说话，因为这段时间，一个是伫这个更新的时间时代的里面，因为咱也够继续有法通来传讲耶稣基督的故事，并且人也够有法通继续的伫只来来接受，并且得到医治。Healed not necessarily of our physical sickness, but to be complete and whole, to be free from sin. 这个异地呢，并不是单单只靠肉体，呃，病痛的异地，乃是通传言，而得到异地就是啊啊，通解决完全啊，同样呢，对罪来得到逃亡。But doesn't this include healing from sickness? 啊，咱安尼这个完全，敢唔是讲，也是包括着啊，人肉体的病痛吗？ Don't we believe that all sickness and all suffering are a result of sin? 咱敢无相信讲啊，大家人诶，即跩病痛哦，真正拢是因为啊，咱人犯罪诶原因吗 ？Yes, it is, and Jesus will heal. 是诶，是诶，跩是因为咱诶犯罪，但有呢，耶稣基督也是要医治。That is that is a one hundred percent guaranteed, as explained in verse twenty one, that Jesus is someone whom heaven must receive until the time for restoring all the things about which God spoke by the mouth of His holy prophets long ago. Ah, see, this thing is one hundred percent. Ah, this is proof. Ah, the second chapter, the Apostle Peter says, "Pay attention to the Lord." 但到万米复兴的时阵，就是上帝最创世以来，才着新鲜地的水所讲的。There will come a time when Jesus will come again, and we will not just be free from sin, but free from all the consequences of sin. 所以时阵要来到，耶稣基督就要过一摆来到，咱大家人就就要啊，对的。啊，唔是单单对这个啊罪来得到逃犯，同时也要
，对伊追索带来结果，通得到完全的头棒。At the end of all things, God gives us this promise in Revelation 21, verse 4. He will wipe every tear from our from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. So, when we come to the end of our life, the most important thing is that God will give us a peace. It is written in the book of Genesis 21, verse 4. John 14, verse 4 says. 上帝要擦去因一切的目屎，无国再有死亡，也无国再有悲哀。靠啊，通通听，因为以前的代志拢过去了。Now, church, someday we will be with Jesus, and then all things will be healed, and we will finally be complete. 那你准备几日单？那么跟耶稣基督对齐诶，所有的代志拢要过去，然后要得到医治。然后，咱因这个一定是特别完全。But our job right now is to preach this message: real healing only comes through faith in the name of Jesus. 咱今仔日的焦点就是要来传扬这个信息，就是讲说啊，真正的医治是只能伫相信耶稣基督里面才能得到。But don't get me wrong, though God does heal sickness right now as He wills it. 但是咱，你问我话，我讲的，因为耶稣基督，那要伊上帝，那要医治一个人，伊有法通现只现只事，所有法通医治，伊难关伊。Now the church is full of stories of God's goodness and mercy in healing people。在咱教会当中有真侪跩啊，关于上帝善良、上帝怜悯啊，医治人的故事。It is right that we pray for it. In fact, as a church, we are to act as God's hands and feet in bringing comfort and serving those who are sick. Then, any kito is to eh, ah ah, is to show us to our church, like me, ah, to to show God, to show His hand, to show His car, to help people, ah, to bring this kind of ah, comfort to the sick, to the sick, to the people who are sick, to the people who are sick. Christians have always done this, and we will continue to do this. We do our best to heal and to fulfill the needs of people. Ah, the doctor, he he did to do such a thing. We are to continue to do this. We do our best to heal and to fulfill the needs of people. Ah, the doctor, he he did to do such a thing. We are to continue to do this. But what I am saying is that even if the healing that we are praying for does not come, we are still complete in Jesus. But we need to remember that we are still complete in Jesus. But we need to remember that we are still complete in Jesus. But we need to remember that we are still complete in Jesus. But we need to remember that we are still complete in Jesus. But we need to remember that we are still complete in Jesus. But we need to remember that we are still complete in Jesus. But we need to remember that we are still complete in Jesus. But we need to remember that we are still complete in Jesus. But we need to remember that we are still complete in Jesus. But we need to remember that we are still complete in Jesus. But we need to remember that we are still complete in Jesus. But we need to remember that we are still complete in Jesus. But we need to remember that we are still complete in Jesus. 咁在，因就是伫通天嘅当中，然后因就离开咗世间。但是，咱就记住，因就是属基督嘅，属耶稣嘅，耶稣内面嘅，因有缘是通，是是完全嘅。Even if we suffer and pass away, we are we have this confidence that we are going to be complete and whole in Jesus. 啊，今日啊，咁在是咱本身啊，底下嚟啊，变听，或者离开世间。咱也是有缘，就有一款诶信心，知影讲说，咱伫主诶内面是啊完全诶。So this is where our hope is, Jesus. Period. 个就是咱诶恩望诶所在，咱诶恩望就是耶稣。Now this that does not eliminate grief and pain, but it does eliminate despair. 即个代志一款信心恩望。无将这个悲伤甲痛痛啊，该渡去，但是又我当将这个绝望甲失望来渡去。Because our hope cannot be taken away。你那里恩望无法当甲咱夺去。What I want to encourage you is to take seriously what Jesus Himself told us to do。我爱鼓励大家，就是讲咱要认真甲看当耶稣。本身啊，叫咱得做嘅代志
And that is to take this message and to preach it, to proclaim it wherever we can. Now in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, the disciples were told that they would be witnesses from Jerusalem, Judea, and to the ends of the earth. The whole book will actually show us that it happened. You know, we're still in Jerusalem right now in Acts chapter 3, but eventually we'll reach Rome and beyond. As you continue to think, to pray, and hopefully be convinced that what people really need to be healed is Jesus, let's limit our application for today to our Jerusalem. So Let's consider this to be where God has placed us right now. Are you preaching the gospel of Jesus at home? Are you preaching the gospel of Jesus at your work or your school? If not, why? You know, if we're not doing it as part of our lifestyle, it is not really skills or knowledge that we lack. It is conviction. What we need is that conviction that faith in the name of Jesus saves. Now, if you've been following along in the last series that we had, you know, it doesn't mean that you have to preach a message or a sermon. But you have to talk about the Word of God. You have to talk about Jesus. It does not necessarily mean to give a, a Bible study, but you have to tell people about your faith. You know, let it flow naturally out of a conversation. You know that even simple, you know, simple Bible readings at home will serve to emphasize the value of God's word to your family. A simple, how can I pray for you? It's actually doable. May, maybe awkward, but it's doable. Uh, you know, love them and serve them and create the opportunities yourself so that these kinds of conversations will happen. For some of you, you will have the capacity to do things like 
host other people in your homes, you know, have coffee with friends to catch up, to pray, or even to create Bible studies or prayer meetings in your office. You know, these are all valid ways of preaching the, the gospel of Jesus. But if you are limited to just staying at home, then you do what you can. Maybe you focus on one person if that's all you can manage. Even if it's just through Viber, you can do this. And perhaps we don't say it enough, but please partner with the church community for this. Ask people to pray with you for this. You know, ask help from the pastors or other members if it's necessary and vice versa. You know, offer help if needed. You know, uh, but, but no matter what, preach this message of healing to whoever, whoever you can because only Jesus offers complete healing. Have a blessed Sunday, church, and God bless you. And now let us receive the benediction. Let me pray for you first. Father God, we thank you so much for this message, this story, this, this book you've given us for us to see um, and be encouraged on what you have been doing with people. Lord, that this, these are not just concepts. These are not just, um, not just theories that, that sound good but has no practical effect. Lord, this really transformed the lives of people then and it is still transforming lives right now. And help us be this courageous, you know, as courageous as the people in Acts in, in doing this mission. Father, you know our hearts. Some, some of us might be dealing with a lot of suffering, of sickness, and it is understandable that we are grieving. We are, uh, we may feel bitter. We may feel uh, um, that our hope is 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 losing, is is lessening. Father, remind us that our hope is in Jesus, and it is promise. It is promise that we are going to be complete in Jesus. Help us, give us this conviction to, to give this also, this message to whoever we can. Lord, help us to be faithful proclaimers of this good news. Pray for, I pray for our church, Lord, as we try to put this into practice. And now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in every way. The Lord be with you all. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, we pray this. Amen. Oh
Sim.